What is up beautiful people of YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Nick and on this channel I ride motorcycles, I work on motorcycles, and now I even build shitty choppers. So if you're not subscribed, please go ahead, bang that subscribe button, head on down to the description box, follow us on social media, check out our company website. We have anything for dogs, horses, we make dog collars, everything for horses. Check it out. So let's dive into this week's video again i am working on my shitty chopper so first thing we got the frame stripped down all the wiring's gone for every all the brake lines and everything is gone i just have that one oil line sitting there and that's because when i unplug it it's going to leak and i just don't feel like dealing with it triple trees are off so in two weeks i am going to order the springer front end and the hardtail kit for this. We're gonna go ahead and get this thing done. And yeah, so in in the month of December, we will get this thing as a roller, may even get it running, who knows. Today, I put this engine together. And uh, yeah, it's just me here, guys. I don't have a cameraman, so it's kind of hard to do stuff and film it, so. I captured some of it on time lapse and we're going to roll into that right now. So as you saw in the time lapse, I assembled this engine. I didn't show everything that I did today on it, but uh, so it's the cam chest is all buttoned up on it, push rods are in it, heads and everything are torqued. I just have to put my rockers on. My oil pump still needs to go on and I need to get everything over here in the primary and transmission button back up. So a big reason why this engine didn't get done today was uh, JP Cycles. I ordered lots of parts from them. Uh, I absolutely love them, but they kind of screwed me this week. So uh, I ordered a bunch of gaskets for this thing and they shipped all of them except one. But I called customer service, they got that squared away, gave me a store credit, and they're gonna get that gasket out to me next week. So this engine should be totally done next week. Top of that, today I worked on my dad's truck. Again, I didn't film any of that. Uh, I don't know if you guys want to see car stuff. Um, let me know if you guys want car stuff. Whenever I do it, I'll start filming it. But uh, you can see that he left a big oil slick in my shop. So uh, I put an oil sending unit on it for him. But it looks like he's got a rear main that's blown out pretty bad on there. We're not sure yet if we're going to go ahead and do that. If we do and you guys want to see it, I'll film it. If not, I'm not going to waste my time. But let's go over here and dive back into this engine. So this engine, um, I built it into an 883. So it originally was an 883. 
and then somebody did a half ass build on it into a 1200 that 1200 blew up and uh, I put it back to mostly stock I say mostly stock because these jugs are actually from a 2014 or 15 and these heads are from an 06 so these are 99 cases this was a factory small fin engine we put large fin heads and uh, jugs did that for a couple reasons uh, first of all availability there's lots of large fin stuff I mean that's what Harley sells um, better cooling capacity with the large fins and um, I went with the 06 heads because uh, from 04 to 06 you have large fin heads with uh, carburetor intake 07 onward is a uh, EFI intake and uh, that EFI intake if you get heads for that EFI intake you actually have to get a different intake to be able to put a carburetor on there but if you get heads from an 04 to 06 it's still large fin but it will take that factory carburetor intake so we'll still be able to run that CV carb on this and uh, that's pretty much this is almost done it'll be finished next week so we're coming up on the end of the year um, just give you guys a little outline of what the rest of the year looks like uh, in December the hardtail will happen and um, I've got some other stuff I need to do I've got some Indian content coming um, I've got the windshield review uh, I need to do rear brakes on this bike and some other maintenance uh, but other than that for the rest of the year uh, I'm not too sure what kind of motorcycle stuff we're gonna have going on the weather it's always here in St. Louis you never know what the weather's gonna do so there still may be some moto vlogs left in the uh, last few weeks of the year we've been super busy with the business today my beautiful wife packaged 70 something orders on a Saturday we normally don't work Saturdays but we're running behind so we've been super blessed and uh, I'd say in the last two months our business has probably doubled so we're getting close to needing some employees and that's been taken away from a lot of this but uh, in January things will pick back up uh, on the bikes and stuff winter is always an odd time as a youtuber because you're trying to find what to do you're trying to figure out what projects I, I do stock some footage I do stash some footage away during the uh, the warm season so you will see some of that but uh, I guess that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Uh, I know it's kind of rambly, but uh, I appreciate you guys for watching. I love each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. I am out of here.